everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my August empties. So let's go ahead and get started. If you watched part one, I had so many this month, uh, this past month, that I separated it into vendors. So today's video part two is going to be L3, Second and Spruce, Candles from the Keeping Room, <clears throat> Harper James, and a new vendor to me back from where I'm from in Pennsylvania. So here we go. I will start right off the bat with Miss Carol. Uh, Wollstonecroft of Candles from the Keeping Room. Uh, Carol is from the Scranton area and she is retiring after this next opening that she's going to be having in October, uh, early to mid-October. I think I'm going to move my tripod back just a touch. Sorry guys, there we go. Okay, Poppy is in the room also. She's over sleeping in the window, so if she comes over I might have to let her out, so just letting you know. Okay, Miss Carol is retiring, like I said. She's been in the business for a long time, and I got through some of her wax. Um, I've purchased from her just a, um, a big order <laughs> last time, and I do have plans to purchase from her on her farewell. Her farewell opening, I think a lot of us out there in the wax world are. Um, she has a little bit of a harder... Uh, texture wax. She's similar, in my opinion, to Vintage Chic, a little bit harder wax. So with my experience, her wax does best in the hotter the better. She does the best in tea lights and some blends, especially a little bit of stronger blends. Um, for example, her uh, Mr. Bear, which is her Bear Claw, all, all of those varieties that she has on her menu. Uh, I can get good performance out of my hot plate warmers, but bulb warmers, I don't even have a bulb warmer, but I would not even attempt it because it's not going to get hot enough. This needs to be hot. So um, if you shop with candles from the keeping room, you know that Carol gives a goodie bag of samples and, and she hand curates the samples to go along with what you're ordering. So if you're ordering all bakery, you're not going to get all fresh samples and vice versa and whatever. She picks out samples that she thinks you will enjoy. And so far, she knows what she's doing. So this first one here is Sparkling Limoncello Spritzer. This one, has a, it's a little bit of effervescence. If you watched part one, I talked about Super Tart's fizzy lifting drink. It's not as fizzy as that is to my nose. This here is more of a punch of limoncello. If you've ever had limoncello, it's Italian lemon liqueur. So it's, it's creamy, it's strong, it's punch. This is similar to lemon curd to my nose. So um, a little bit, a little bit of sparkling. So I wouldn't say it, it's not, it's not fizzy, but it has a little bit of, a little hint of fizz. Not much though, not to, not in my experience. Uh, this is, this lasted probably uh, five hours, I would say, in my tea light warmer, which is a long time. But then again, this is a lemon blend and lemon just tends to last longer, I think for most of us, since those oils are so strong. Um, Poppy has moved over to the bed. So <laughs> Next is blueberry white cake. Now, I typically stay away from white cake blends because I find white cake to be the lightest of all the cakes, oils that are out there in the wax world. But this was this was surprisingly nice. I think the addition of the blueberry really bumped up that bakery department, so it was a nice, rich, creamy blueberry bakery. This, along with um, lemon shell spritzer, I actually melted here in the room where I'm in, in the tea light warmer I have in this room. Uh, the room where I am here, I don't really have a place to put a um, electric warmer, so that's why I use my tea light in this in this bedroom where I'm in, and I also use another tea light in my guest bathroom, and I have another tea light downstairs in my kitchen. When I really get into melting fall scents, since I, I I love I love fall scents, I want it to be saturated in my home. I'll add another tea light warmer downstairs uh, in the in the fall and winter time to get those scents because you know those are my two favorite seasons. I love it. So this one, I would actually buy this blend, and that's a lot for me because white cake really isn't my favorite. Uh, next one is Raspberry Rainbow Birthday Cake. Carol actually sent me two of these, so I have one more uh, one more shake to get through. This was actually an ice cream scoop, and it was really, really cute. I loved this. This is really strong on cold, and I know it's raspberry, but it's not scary raspberry. It really just, it's it's a sweet raspberry cake, and it was this was beautiful. I love this. Nice bakery, fruity bakery. This is a good one. I would buy that again. 
Uh, next is pomegranate apple zucchini. I loved this one. I I love zucchini bread blends. I mean, if I really had to pick one one blend or one oil to use for the rest of my days, I would pick zucchini bread because you can blend it with so many so many avenues. You really can get creative with zucchini bread. I love that. The pomegranate and apple. I've never had pomegranate and apple with zucchini bread before, but guess what? It works beautifully. I've had apple and zucchini, I should say, but I haven't had pomegranate mixed with zucchini, and I certainly haven't had pomegranate apple. So this was a beautiful surprise, and I loved this, and I would buy it again. Um, and then the last one I have from Carol's is, this is homemade blueberry biscuit. This, of course, is her she does these craft bags. These are double bags in here to keep the smell goods in. And it comes with the ribbon, the craft ribbon that, you know, is so cute. And she kind of color coordinates it matchy matchy to the, uh, the oil, the, excuse me, the colors that you use in the wax. I really like that little detail. Um, these blueberry, this blueberry biscuit blend was phenomenal. All of her biscuit oils are just, just impressive and so strong. I see so many, so many people posting Carol's group about the biscuit blends and that they're melting it. And I did buy quite a bit of the biscuit blends I could get my hands on. But I wanted to do this one because my husband loves blueberry. And, you know, I try to melt things to appease Marty from time to time. So this one that made the ticket first, I would buy this again. Okay, next um, we have just a single. I finished up Harper James. This is fresh baked bread. I actually got this in the round robin box from June. Um, this one, it, it, this is just fresh baked bread. So this is, I think Mary pours these, these are her brownie bite bags or brownie bags or whatever she calls them. I think that's what she calls them. Uh, these are these are poured in the single oils and I think she pours them, you know, just so we can blend I actually don't mind fresh baked bread alone So I melted a few of these alone and then I melted a few of these simultaneously with another bakery blend to just add that extra bread note I really really like this one Okay, oh actually I have one more Candles from the keeping room. This is sugared strawberry cookies. This is an oil that actually um scoopable wax melts kathy uh rose girl jenny's mom kathy who's having a pre-order ending today at six i think it's 6 p.m central time uh she has the same oil the sugared strawberry cookies i hadn't experienced it until i got this oil and then i simultaneously well, not simultaneously i subsequently went and ordered a scoop of the sugared strawberry cookies from Kathy a few months ago. So I have a little bit more of this oil. This is a sweet cookie. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a fr fresh picked strawberry or even a strawberry jam. It's a sweeter, slightly artificial, but not crazy artificial strawberry mixed with a nice cookie. I think the, I think the description of this is strawberry with, um, creamy frosting and cookies and, and, you know, some, some sort of, you know, sugary madness like that. <laughs> but I, I like this oil. This would be beautiful blended with zucchini bread or beautifully blended with pound cake or any sort of cakes. This is a nice one. I do like that one. And I have one more from uh, Harper James. It's a sample. So it's not, um, it's not a, a single, uh, blend like, um, a, a um, a product that I purchased, I should say. I don't know why I said that. Just <laughs> forgive me. Uh, this is Stay Salty. And I actually, uh, this is a pretzel blend, but I don't know all the other things that are in it. But this is this is a pretzel blend. And I think there's caramel in here and brown sugar. And I don't remember what else. But this is just a nice, salty pretzel. So if you like that and you, and I mean, I've looked around on Harper James for quite some time. I just, I just, uh. I purchased from her for the first time several months back, but I had been in her group for a while just, you know, watching what type of products she has and, you know, feedback and all those things before I decided to try her out in my home. And I've seen this blend. This has poured quite a bit. Uh, she seems to like pretzel stuff. I see a lot of, a lot of blends of hers have pretzel in it. So this is, this was good. It's a salty pretzel. Okay. Next, um, we have second and spruce. Okay, Second and Spruce. Second and Spruce is owned by Erica Kane. She is from Pittsburgh area, Pennsylvania, and she has been in business for less than a year. I think it was um, 
late fall. I, I think she had said that when she opened her business last year, it was after the fall season. So I know it's late 2022 that she opened. So Erica and her husband Slade, I think that's his name, uh, own the company and the business. And they are just knocking it out of the park as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I've purchased from Erica uh, once, two, and she had a pre-order on Friday that was open for a few hours. Um, I've purchased from her three times now and I am thoroughly impressed and just everything is top notch. So the first one I got through is a, is a very popular one. This is What the Melon Rita. I know April Lee loves this and Catherine loves this and I think many more of my wax friends out there that have tried this love this. This is muddled watermelon, sugar and lime margarita. Now, if you watch me, you know my husband does not like lime. Lime smells like vomit to him for the most part. And I understand it because I've had some limes and I've smelled it. I'm like, oh, it's kind of acidic like he's getting. But this is not. And I think it's because it's blended so well with the watermelon and a little bit of that extra sugar. I really like this. It's a take on a margarita, but it's a watermelon margarita but the watermelon seems to tone out that acidity and the sharpness of the lime. You know, that, that citrus punch, that, that, that pucker that lime has, uh, lime oils have and lemon oils and such. This is excellent. I would buy this again. Um, Erica has a very soft wax texture. It's similar to a uh, Teddy Bee's in that it's, it's very soft. You can break it apart with your fingers and it smudges very, very easily. So it doesn't really, it, it, it smudges it, it doesn't hold up in the hot weather is what I'm saying very well. Um, as you can see, this bag is pretty smudged, but um, her wax throws beautifully. It's strong. It's long lasting. It is, it's, it's wonderful. I love it. She is bumping up the charts into uh, some of my favorite vendors out there. So um, I have ordered a few times from her, like I said, and she had her Christmas, um, fall Christmas pre-order on Friday. And I know a good bit of us out there in the community that know about Erica's uh, business participated and probably bought more than we should have. <laughs> but uh, she had some really, really, really fantastic blends offered. The next one I absolutely love is Godzooks. Godzooks is coming back. I've asked for it to come back and several of us have, and it is coming back. This is zucchini bread, sugar cookie balm, and sweet milk. This is a fantastic zucchini bread blend. I don't know exactly what's in sugar cookie balm, and I don't need to because it is the bomb in terms of sugar and sugar cookie oils that I've smelled out there. It's not like sugar cookie royale, which is sweet with that icing frosting note. It's a little bit different, but it's creamy. It's rich. It accents the zucchini bread very, very well. That hint of sugar milk. I know sometimes that can pull sour to some noses. It doesn't in this case. I understand it because there are some sugar milk blends I can't tolerate because it's it's too it's too sour to me. And that's a lot of the reason why I don't care for a lot of cheesecake blends. I'll try one here and there, but it's gonna be blended very, very well to take that sour note out of that cheesecake cheesecake oil. So this I would buy in pounds worth. This is amazing 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 blend this was a snap bar and she decorates her snap bars just like her loaves you know um contra contrasting colors but complementary colors to each other this is beautiful i love this love this love this next one this is pink milk and cookies this was actually in a bakery bag i cut the i cut the part of the bag off with the scent notes um i and i put it into a um put it into a poly bag here because the bakery rag tore on me. So that's why I took it out of the original package. Her blend milk and cookies. I don't know exactly what's all in it. I don't remember all the notes, but it, it is not the same as a uh, sugar cookie bomb. It is sugar cookie dough and, oh, I don't even remember. Uh, somebody, if you know, <laughs> Put the notes down in the in the comments if you will because this is milk and cookies is one of her most popular ones it has buttercream in it it's creamy it's very very rich and creamy this is pink milk and cookies this is pink sugar and milk and cookies when i bought this this was my very first time i purchased and this was poured back in june so i've only been buying from erica for a few months so i really was a little nervous 
because I'm not in love with pink sugar. I like it in blends, but being that there's only really two parts to this blend, I was thinking, oh, if it's going to be too pink sugary for me, I might not like it. But I took a chance because I wanted to try milk and cookies. Unfortunately, at that time, milk and cookies, the plain version, I didn't, it, it sold out before I checked out. So I was, I went for the next best thing, but I'm glad I did because Erica blended this beautifully. She took the sweet perfuminess that's in the pink sugar that I think if you either love pink sugar or you don't love pink sugar, I'm not a cotton candy lover. I like it in blends, but I will not melt cotton candy alone. I won't melt pink sugar alone. It's just too sugary sweet to me. But this blended with that milk and cookies was very, very nice. In fact, I didn't really pick up a lot of milk, uh, excuse me, a lot of pink sugar at all. So it was mainly milk and cookies with just an extra hint of sugary sweetness. I would buy this again. This is nice. And the last one, this is a sample that I got from my um, ready to ship order that Erica had in July. This is Fall Fest. This is a sample. No, generous size sample. This is Falling Leaves, Caramel Apple, and Cider Donut. I had this going downstairs in my kitchen. Um, I love this. This is basically, this smells like caramel apple to me. I'm not getting... I'm not getting too much of the cider donut because cider donut and caramel apple just blend seamlessly to me no matter what they're in. They, they kind of just, caramel apple so dominant to my nose, it takes over the blend anyways. So the leaves, I'm not quite sure what oil this is, whether it's, you know, leaves PPW type or if it's another leave oil that she has. This is a nice fall caramel apple blend. So right up my alley. That's my experience with Second and Spruce. I have quite a few of her items. Uh, I'm working on a few right now on my melting tote, and I have um, quite a few to chop. I'm going to be doing in my September version of my chop and chat, which, frankly, I don't need to chop anything for a while, but I like doing chop and chats because I really like just talking, you know, just talking and chopping. I really, really like that, and um, it's, it's relaxing and therapeutic for me, actually, uh, and it's... <laughs> It's one of my favorite, it's one of my favorite videos to make, actually. So I'm going to be, um, I have quite a bit actually over there that I, that I want to get chopping, um, because I'm getting ready to, in, in the middle of September, you know, late part of September and October is when I will really shift a lot of my melting toad and take blends that, you know, blends I'm really tired of for the season or period. And I'll put those down in my storage or, you know, move them on out move them on out of here kind of a thing and I'll really I'll really transition into all fall and all winter blends in my melting tote right now I have a variety of everything I have strawberry I have summer I have laundry I have coffee I have fall I have non-seasonal so I really will give myself another good good month or so of melting what I have in my current tote and then I'll move into all fall and winter so um, my September wax goals um, I started that that content last month on my channel. I have quite a few ones I've picked out of my collection. Uh, I was doing that yesterday that I'm going to be chopping up um, later on, you know, this month. And I'll get working on those and some teddy bees and uh, some other things I want to get through. So that's what I, I'm going to have more second and spruce. So if second and spruce is something you're interested in. Keep watching because I'm going to be melting it. It's, it's, Erica, Erica's got a good thing. Okay. So the next vendor I want to do before I go into L3, because you know I always have a mess of L3 stuff. This is a new-to-me vendor. And the reason this uh, vendor is called Fisher Candle and Soap Company. And she, her name is uh, Brittany Fisher, and she's from Fair Chance, Pennsylvania, which is a little, 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 little town that is very, very close to my hometown in Pennsylvania. And I found, I was looking around on Facebook one day or Instagram. I'm I'm rarely on Instagram. I'm trying to get better. I have two Instagrams. I'm on my I'm on my personal page more than I am my wax Instagram page. But at that I'm only on Instagram a few times a week. I was on one of those two social media sites and Fisher Candle and Soap Company popped up. And I saw she's from Fair Chance. And there's about 25 of my personal Facebook friends that go to this vendor and buy from this vendor and I thought my god there's a wax vendor in where I'm from 
that I didn't even know existed. And, you know, I've been back there a couple of times and, and Brittany's been in business for five years. And I think she has only had a brick and mortar, you know, storefront for a year or two. And even at that, I would have went back and shopped last year because I went back in October and it's, you know, fall has exploded at that time. And I would have known. I wish I would have known. So I reached out to her and I said, hey, I'm, you know, I, I live out of state now, but I would love to support your company. And I, you know, I made a small order and I introduced, introduced myself. So now, you know, I told her I have a channel and I'm going to talk about her vendor, um, her company eventually, but I wanted to melt some of the product before I, you know, reviewed it. So when I got my order, I only ordered, I got a set of five um, clams. It was like a fall sampler clams. And I got a couple of snap bars for my first order. You know, I didn't want, I didn't want to go huge. And um, Brittany is known for her candles. She does a lot of beautiful whipped whipped candles and jar candles. In fact, if you follow my community page on YouTube, I know it's tough because it's on the first page of YouTube when you scroll down and you see all updates and stuff. I know I don't even go on there that much. So back when she had um, her Hocus Pocus candles is something that she's, she's um, slightly famous for. Um, I ordered a couple of the Hocus Pocus candles, which are actually being shipped shipped right now. And I'm going to you know, have, have those on here. I'm going to take some pictures and post it on my community page. But I don't know if I'm necessarily going to do a video about them until I actually, you know, let them cure a little bit and use them in October. But anyways, I wanted to talk about this vendor and just kind of introduce her because I know I have never seen... Uh, anybody talk about this, of course, because Fair Chance is a very small place. It's tiny. So I'm just trying to, to get the word out there. She has a beautiful website and uh, ships all over the country. And of course, you know, if you're in that area, which I don't, I don't think anybody really is, but she does have a storefront too. So the first one I used is Pumpkin Ginger Snaps. And uh, this is pumpkin, ginger, and vanilla. And on here, it's three ounces in Fair Chance, Pennsylvania. That's where her place is, like I said. Uh, this is, it's very, it's spicy. It is something, I wouldn't necessarily buy this one again, just because I didn't get a lot of pumpkin to it. I got mostly ginger and ginger snap and the ginger spice. It was not bad because I really like ginger, but it's a little, it's a little too spicy for me. I think if I had more of her product, I would tone this down with something or melt it with something else. So that's my review of pumpkin ginger snaps. And Brittany's so kind. I've actually talked to her on the phone. She's, you know, she, she's a very, she's a very sweet lady and she loves making her stuff and i i don't know if she's in business with her mother or her mother-in-law but there's another lady that works there and i i don't remember her name right now uh but they are they love to do they have soaps and they have body products and they're always constantly uh, making beautiful candles and just it's just a little vendor that i want to support because it's from my home area so the next one i used is iced almond cookies i love almond if you know me you know Give me all the amaretto, give me all the almond. And almond sometimes is too strong for a lot of people. This, however, is very, very, it's very sweet and it's very gentle. So this is toasted almonds, sugar, and frosting. I'd like this. It's light, but it warms up. You know, once once it's warmed up and it's really going, you can get that beautiful hint in the air. This is similar to... I'm trying to think of another another bigger vendor that this would this reminded me of. It's 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 just I mean it's almond cookies. It's not quite as strong as um Rose Girls almond biscotti or or that's the, that's the thing that's coming to my mind right now. It's it's similar to that but it's not quite as strong as that. I liked this. I melted this in my accord. There are six in this clam. I melted it in my core two different times. I love this. I would buy this again. It's not a 10 out of a 10. It's probably a 6 out of a 10 in terms of throw. But it's a beautiful, yummy, creamy, delicious bakery fragrance. And the last one I have right now, this is, this was a little snack bar. This is Farmer John's Baked Zucchini Bread. And this is just zucchini bread. When I try a new vendor out, if they have a zucchini bread oil, I try it because I love zucchini bread. This was nice. It just, it smells, it's kind of in between, um, 
Dessa's zucchini bread, which to my nose is not very spicy. It's more creamy and rich. And it's in, it's in between Dessa and L3. L3 zucchini bread is a beautiful combination of spice and creamy, to my nose at least. L3's oil is my favorite, my favorite zucchini bread oil. This one is a blend of those two. It's creamy, but it's got just enough hint of spice. So this was great. I really, really liked that one. So that's Fisher Candle and Soap Company. And now we're going to move into L3. I'm at 25 minutes. See, I'm glad I made this two parts because this would have been a long video. Okay. Maui Wowie. This was a custom of mine from my very first time I had customs, which was in 2021, I believe. This is Exotic Coconut, Caribbean Escape, and Driftwood. It's taken me a long time to get through this, this bag because this was a strong sucker really really strong it was basically exotic coconut is one of my favorite bath and body works they need to bring out of the vault scents i love exotic coconut if you watch the round robin videos Catherine king sent me a bottle of exotic coconut body wash that i freaked out about on camera because i have not smelled that and you know i i haven't it had a seal on it i'm not going to use it at this time because i just want to keep it and and just have it at least, at least I own it now. So if I ever, ever want to try to use it, I have it, you know, to try again until Bath and Body Works decides to bring the damn thing out of the vault if they have. It's been a long time. It's been over 10 years, I think, since it's been maybe even 15 years since it's been out of the vault. So anyways, I can get my fix because a lot of vendors now have exotic coconut. Exotic coconut is strong. It's a tropical, sexy, warm coconut. It's not perfumey, it's, a, but I mean, yes, it's body care, but it's not, um, I'm trying to think if you ever, hmm, it, exotic coconut, it's, it's warm, it's tropical. I'm trying to think of another one to compare it to. It's, but it's, it's not a perfume to me, but it's not exactly body care either. You know how some, some things smell like body care, you know, how snowflakes and cashmere, for example, snowflakes and cashmere is a beautiful mild, comforting, warm, and or even warm vanilla sugar. Warm vanilla sugar is a body care product, but it doesn't necessarily smell body care. Whereas Snowflakes and Cashmere has a little bit of body care to it. And I think you know what I'm saying when I'm trying to explain that. There's just some things that shouldn't be in wax that are too body care-ish. Um, luckily boom boom cream works well because boom boom cream is super duper body care and it works beautifully in a lot of blends what I guess what I'm trying to say is the exotic coconut is not body care in this so don't let it fool you of course this was a custom of mine so this was not going to be a blend that's av available originally you know or regularly I should say and Caribbean Escape that's another retired one from Bath and Body Works Caribbean Escape was one of my favorite fragrances when it was out I had that in every form that they made at the time I liked this it took me a long time to get through it like I said because it's very very strong very very strong and it's really just one you have to melt in the summertime so when this is all said and done, would I make this again? No, because it was a little bit too summery for me. I like a fragrance or a wax, I should say, that I can melt any time of year. And yes, I'm gonna have those tropical ones. Um, the guy next door has a souped up car, so <laughs> he fires it up every now and again. Um, this is one and done for me, but it was a beautiful one and I'm glad I was able to experience this. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> okay, this is Miss Tam, Miss Tamika's Blend. This is Leanna's Lullaby, Fluffy Towels, and Toasted Marshmallow. Now, Tam Carr, that's her name in Facebook. Uh, she, along with Christy Hart Shorn and I, we are a moderator admins for L3. So this was one of her customs. I know that because Tam and I are good friends. So Leanna's Lullaby is... Um, Johnson and Johnson's bath, bedtime baby or bedtime bath or baby bath time. I don't know what it's called, but it's that lavender chamomile, delicious, relaxing experience. She blended it with fluffy towels and toasted marshmallow. Now to me, I didn't get too much fluffy towels out of this and I got more of the Leanna's Lullaby and I'm not mad about that because I love Leanna's Lullaby. It's one of my favorite single oils 
And I'm not one that wants more and more and more and more lavender. Lavender, I could take it or leave it. But this, when I want a lavender blend, I want a, I want Leanna's Lullaby. And Leanna's Lullaby is a Jen from L3 named that after her daughter because bedtime, bedtime baby, bath time baby, whatever it's called, I uh, helped her daughter get to sleep. So this one is a good one. If you, if you like this combination, you know, you could always ask to have a little bit more of an oil if you're on the L3 customs list. When you send your email in, you can say, I want this to be a little bit more dominant, or I want this percentage or that percentage. And you know, if it works on Jen's side, you know, they'll make it for you. So this, I like this one. Good job, Tam. Okay. Blueberry Zucchini Bread Sweet Cream. This was a Matrix Melt. Matrix Melts are, uh, they're beautiful works of art that they're in these, these little bit wider. They're not quite brittles like Sassy Girl, but they're wide and flat. And I, I like these from time to time. Um, this is Blueberry and Zucchini Bread. I mean, it's, it is fantastic. I love zucchini bread blended with blueberry, and I love it blended with strawberry. But I actually think maybe I like it. I'm just stretching out here. I like it blended with blueberry a little bit more because that juicy, that that juicy, yummy blueberry just shines through beautifully, and it's just a yummy, warm hug of an experience with zucchini bread. I think a lot of us have tried blueberry and zucchini bread. Next, I feel like I'm floating down here under the ground. A lot, a lot. Uh, that was my previous thought. Uh, cucumber, watermelon, honeydew. Uh, this one was, I think this was a two-pack bunt. No, this was a Bitty Betty loaf. She changed her bags for her bit, Bitty Bettys. So this, I uh, requested this one because I love cucumber. Oh, cucumber is such an underused oil in my opinion. Cucumber is so damn good. Cucumber mixed with watermelon and honeydew. Come on. This was so nice. It's refreshing. It's crisp. It's great on a cool day. It's great on a hot day. It's great after cleaning. It's great when you want to chill out. It's fantastic. I really, 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 really like this one. I actually have another loaf, a little little loaf of this. I Something similar. I think I might have sent to Jay in a random act of kindness. Or I still have it in my collection. But I know I sent Jay something similar it might have been the other one I bought of this one, but it's a good one. Next is Copper Tone Strawberry Jam and Pineapple. Marty likes this one. He's commented on this every time I melted it. Uh, this, of course, is Copper Tone. I've talked about Copper Tone quite a bit on here. Copper Tone is, of course, the sunscreen, and it's super, super strong, super strong. Takes over a blend. What I like, whoever blended this on l 3 side did it very, very well because it has strawberry jam and pineapple. So it's got the fruity aspect to it. The pineapple works because I know some people don't like pineapple and wax, but if you blend pineapple in with something, it's a little bit more accepting to the nose than if you just melt it plain. Like I have a, I have a plain scoop of pineapple and it's a little too strong for me. I have to blend it with something when I use it. So I don't use it all that often, but I do understand why pineapple can be a little off-putting to some noses. So the strawberry jam and the pineapple together, but you have that tropical vibe going on because you have the copper tone sunscreen, but you have the tropical pineapple and the strawberry jam just to give a little bit extra of a berry. So I liked this. My husband liked it too, like I said, and that's how I know it works because when he gets involved, <laughs> it's either he hates it or he loves it. So this one, I would buy this again. I actually found this downstairs in my storage. It's from May of 22. And it was a bougie bar, which is one of my favorite forms from L3. I'm getting to where I don't really like chopping all that much. That's why I kind of only chop once a month now for my, for my chopping chats. I just like not having to chop. So it's easy. Next, this is gingerbread. This was a trig tart. Trig tarts are single oils, and the sole purpose of trig tarts is to either melt the blend all by itself, the oil all by itself, I mean, or get experimental and, and blend with them. L3 has one of my favorite gingerbread oils. Uh, they just got buttery gingerbread, which um, I have yet to smell. It's in my order right over there on the bed that I got yesterday that I'm going to be doing my haul for today or tomorrow or sometime this week, whenever I get around to filming it. Um, 
I'm excited for buttery gingerbread. I love gingerbread. Dessa's gingerbread house is one of my favorite gingerbreads. And I know there's a couple of you that I talk to out there. Jenny Gilmore doesn't care for Dessa's gingerbread. I love it. It's rich. It's molasses. It's moist. Trigger word, I know. It's it's spicy, but it's cakey and it's fantastic. This is no different. I actually, I'm up for customs and not that too, you know, not that much longer. Uh, I am working on a couple of gingerbread blends that I'm playing around with because I love gingerbread. Gingerbread is, is, it can be used as, you know, it's versatile like, like zucchini bread is. It's just got a little bit more spice to it because of the ginger and the, the molasses makes it a little bit more dense. But this is fantastic. I love that one. Love, love, love. Next one is mulled cider and tart cranberry and orange. This was a uh, gingerbread house uh, that uh, eventually, I don't think, well, right now they're doing their, they're starting to do their pumpkins and their Halloween shapes. But it's Christmas time and the holiday times, uh, they will do their, their gingerbread houses, which are beautiful. You know, they're, and you can get eight pieces, you know, six to eight pieces out of here. This was a strong, 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 strong one. Um, I actually had this downstairs and when I, when I went to sniff it, I could smell it through the bag and I thought, oh, I better use this because these oils want released. So <laughs> I used it. Uh, this is basically mulled cider, which is cider with the spices, the, the mulling spices. My allergies are starting to flare up for fall, believe it or not. I've been sneezing like crazy. So my face is, I'm very sensitive to allergies this time of year. So forgive me. I actually have allergies all year. You know, I'm one of those people. But just forgive me for my face. Um the, the mulling spices, the cloves, the cinnamon, the allspice, the nutmeg, those those with cider, and then cranberry and orange, which this is a fantastic holiday scent. I think most of us have smelled something like this. Next is rice flour and shea. These were back in springtime when the little bunnies, she had a, the little bunny, baby bunnies. They were, um, I think they're an ounce, an ounce and a half, something like that. Uh, this is... I bought this because another another Bath and Body Works fantastic blend that needs to come out of the damn vault is rice flour and shea. So when I saw this, it doesn't have BBW type by it. And so I thought I'd, I'd buy it to try it out. And this is very, very, very close to the Bath and Body Works. I loved, I loved the hell out of rice flour and shea. It's just so warm and comforting and milky and creamy. And I loved it. I loved it. And I would love it still if they brought it out of the vault. I mean, they bring the same crap out of the vault for the semi-annual sales. You know, they're not bringing any of the ones that are sleepers and some of the ones out there that we love. I mean, I know rice flour and shea was around for a long time and then it went away. And, you know, exotic coconut too was around and they used to bring it out of the vault you know, for semi-annual sales, and it has not, it's not seen light of day since. So <laughs> this is another one. This is very, very, very close. So this is a really good example of one that's body care-esque because it does have that lotion, that body cream quality to it. It's very, very creamy, but it's very, very relaxing. I love this one. I really, I really do like that one. Next is Bad and Bougie. This was a customer creation contest winner from earlier this spring. This is Baccarat Rouge 540, Lord of Misrule, which is lush, Marshmallow Fireside, and Tonka Bean. Bravo to this blend creator for putting Tonka Bean in there. I love Tonka Bean. Tonka Bean is in a lot of body products, so it can pull body sometimes, but it adds, it's like the, I like to call it the umami, the umami like the mushroom is. It, it, mushroom doesn't live, it's, it, it's, in, it's umami, it's its own thing. Tonka bean in wax and body care is its own thing. It gives a little something, it just a little something. So, for example, when cooking, if you're making, for example, I have a clam chowder recipe and you have to put a little bit of sherry in it. And I've tried making it without it. And I've tried making it with it, and it's better with it. Even though it's not something you would necessarily recognize or even be able to pick out of a recipe, it adds something to it. That's what Tonka Bean does. I love Tonka Bean. 
And anyways, this Baccarat Rouge 540 is a super expensive perfume. It's got a, it's very sultry, it's smoky, it's sexy, it's mysterious, but it's beautiful in wax because it, it's, it's sophisticated, it's classy smelling. Lord of Misrule, can't remember what's in that. Uh, at this time, but it's super strong. I love Lord of Misrule. And I, I think there's patchouli in it and a couple of other things I can't remember right now. Marshmallow Fireside, of course, everybody's had that. That's the Smoky Sweet Marshmallow from Bath and Body Works. Bad and Bougie, this was a great blend. It's sophisticated, it's smoky, it's sweet, it's sexy, it's fantastic. Try this one next time it comes back, if you like those sorts of, sorts of scents. Next, oh, this was a custom of mine, an overpour, I should say, custom of mine. This is tobacco, dark night bay rum, Egyptian amber, and coconut milk. This was Johnny and Jack's. If you watched my custom video from last fall, um, when I got my last batch of customs, this is Johnny and Jack's. So I love tobacco. Tobacco is, it can be blended with a lot of stuff. It's classy. It's sophisticated. It's it can it can be sexy masculine, or you can really warm it up to be something not quite feminine, but something that's a little bit more not masculine. <laughs> I know it's a bad way of describing it, but I think you get I think you get what I'm trying what I'm trying to say. Um, the rum component I actually had with uh, Captain Jack Sparrow, Johnny Depp's character in mind, because I thought I wanted to put a little bit of rum with the tobacco, because I think the tobacco and the amber, tobacco and amber work beautifully together. I really, I think, I think tobacco and amber, they, those are two notes of um, Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. Uh, I, I think those are two components of that fragrance and I absolutely love that. It's, it's such a good fragrance. I wanted to take those two, but I wanted to add a little bit of rum to it to just give that essence to it. And then I put a little bit of coconut milk with it. I originally, I originally was thinking, I don't remember what I was going to add with this, but it was another creamy, and I don't know if it was marshmallow fireside, it might have been something like that. But I decided to go with coconut milk, because coconut milk to me, it's not necessary, it's not tropical coconut, it's not bake bakery sweet coconut. It's just, it's coconut milk. You know, if you're cooking, for example, Thai food uses a lot of coconut milk. I have a recipe I make that has shrimp and asparagus and water chestnuts, and the sauce is made with coconut milk and, and um, green Thai chili paste. So it does. it's not necessarily coconut right in your face, bam. It's got a little bit of essence of coconut, but it's creamy milk. So that's what I wanted to do to this, to really tone down, because I know tobacco is strong, amber is strong, rum is strong but i wanted to have that creamy aspect to it to make this one of a kind and this is one of a kind i love this bag i actually i bought the overpour of this and um oh i can still smell in the bag it's 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 very unique i still have my custom bag of this that i haven't dived into yet but this is i'm very very thankful that jen was able to make this blend work because this is a good one. So if you are expen experimental in wax and you like tobacco, you like amber, play around with blending on your side. You know, don't be afraid to try something different with it. Tobacco is such a good, sweet, smoky, earthy oil. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Next, <laughs> strawberry zucchini bread. This was a bougie bar. Um, Self-explanatory. I love strawberry zucchini bread. This could be on one of my top 10, um, along with blueberry zucchini bread that I could melt anytime. Love it. Coming down to the end here, guys. We're at 43 minutes. See, it would have been almost a two-hour video if I would not have split it. So this, oh, God, this is good. This is apple, cinnamon, cinnamon sugar, coffee bean, and zucchini bread. OMG. I've even considered getting this as one of my customs because it's so good. So good. 
it's apple cinnamon and zucchini bread with a little bit of coffee it's not necessarily a straight ban coffee blend but it's a bakery coffee apple cinnamon masterpiece that's how i'll describe this one it's so good i want this in a scoop because scoops are so strong they perform beautifully in my home no matter what warmer they're in i want this in a scoop this is so damn good if you like those notes try it next time it's offered it'll knock your socks off it's so delectable so good vanilla buttercream frosting and watermelon cake all right watermelon cake it's back love watermelon cake it is so good it's it's creamy it's fruity it's not juicy like a watermelon is and some other watermelon oils it's got that that fluffy I almost said frothy, fluffy, yummy, rich cake with watermelon added into it. So it sweetens it up and makes it creamy and it's delicious and wonderful. Vanilla buttercream frosting is a little fruity to me on its own, but I do like it in blends. And this was good. This was a good one. I love that. I think I have more of that one. Next is Dominican Republic. This was another um, gingerbread house that was offered late last year. This is an exotic blend of pineapple and coconut with vanilla sandalwood. So this one, I wanted to try it because the vanilla sandalwood really intrigued me. Um, I really don't like it alone, believe it or not. I like it more in blends. And I thought with the coconut and the pineapple, that would be interesting. So this is interesting. I'm not quite sure if I would buy this again, not because I hated it, but it was something, it was just pineapple and coconut to me. I wasn't getting too much vanilla sandalwood. A little bit of something, but it was just, it was something I, I can't quite put it into words. I can't quite describe it. Next is blackberry cobbler, strawberry pound cake, blackberry cobbler. I think that was a typo, of course. So this is blackberry cobbler and strawberry pound cake. This was blackberry cake, basically. And it was nice. I only had a small sample in here, so I can't really attest to how it performed in my home. I put most of my samples in my tea light warmer in my guest bathroom anyways. So that's what I did with that one. And it's, it's blackberry cake, basically. So the last three I have are three uh, scent shots that Jen and team have been offering in the last several months. This first one is Summer Cookie Therapy, Strawberry Jam, and Strawberry Kolaches. Kolaches. Oh, God. If you like bakery, heavy bakery at that, you got to try kolaches. Strawberry kolaches is one of my favorite, favorite blends that Jen has ever come up with. It's so good. And then you add summer cookie therapy, which I don't even know what's in that necessarily, but I don't need to because the kolaches is such a strong oil. This is a heavy bakery strawberry masterpiece. I love this baby right here. Oh, I love strawberry kolaches. It's so good. Kolaches on my custom list too. I just don't know what I'm going to blend it with yet. <laughs> Next, iced tea, blueberry cobbler, lemon mint leaf. This was interesting. I smell tea on cold. When it warms up, it's straight lemon leaf, uh, lemon mint leaf, which is good. It's, 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 it's minty, but a little bit of lemon and just a touch of tea. I didn't really get too much blueberry in this. I like this. I want a bigger size of this to melt it throughout my home. That lemon mint is good. It's really good. Finally, oh, tiramisu, amaretto, coffee bean, waffle cone. I have this exact scent over in a little baby loaf on the bed because I'm, it's going to be chopped up. This is fantastic. Tiramisu is not an oil that's used anywhere, really. Jen's had it on her list for a long time, and last round of customs, I had tiramisu blend, but it didn't make the cut at that time. But tiramisu is, of course, Italian dessert, you know, with espresso and mascarpone cheese and um, amaretto. I think amaretto is some sort of I, some sort of liqueur soaked in tiramisu. It's delicious, delectable, amaretto. Compliments. I, I think amaretto. I haven't. I haven't 
I haven't seen tiramisu actually on a menu in a while, so I don't really remember what liqueur. I, it's either coffee liqueur or amaretto that the that the lady fingers are soaked in before they layer the cream, uh, the cheese, and the you know other things that are in it. Amaretto complements it so well because it just those flavors together. I, yeah, if you know if you know tiramisu, you know amaretto, you know this one's going to work beautifully, and the extra coffee being in there because there are there already is coffee in tiramisu. This is so good. I really I'm I'm struggling to put this into the right words because this is so. It it's creamy amaretto. Amaretto is strong, and it takes over a blend. But this you can smell not necessarily the coffee. But you know there's other guys in the ball game playing along with the amaretto. This is fantastic. I love this. This might be on my customs list. <laughs> this is so, so good. Love this one. So we are at 49, works at, at 50 minutes almost. So that is the end of part two of my August empties. Phew, I got through a lot this month. So um, on in the bullpen, I have another this past September 1st on to I'll probably do this weekend um, another round of empties videos for September and try to try to keep it a little bit more current than I have been. Um, but this was a big month. I got through a ton and I'm happy about that. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a beautiful weekend ahead. Happy Labor Day um, and I'll see you soon.